What's up, guys? It is Jack and Ryan from AchievementHunter.com. And Ryan, today we're doing five facts in Team Fortress 2. I've played that game forever. This is your favorite game of all time, right? Actually, I mean, I've played that game since it was Team Fortress 1. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Do you know when Team Fortress 2 came out? God, oh no, maybe 10 years ago? It was 2007, nine years ago. That ah, is, that's close. Or I guess, I guess if you don't count with zero, maybe that's, I don't know, whatever it works. So yeah, it came out in 2007. Holy crap, this is super old, so... I bet you. I bet there's some facts out there that you don't know about. I'm in Team sure Fortress there's 2. lots of facts. Like, how about what's this? How about number hat? How about number one? Uh, through Team Fortress 2's long development process, three or four different games were created before a final version was made that contained all of the best aspects of those original attempts. And uh, Team Fortress 2 was announced in at EA or excuse me E3 1999 and didn't come out until 2007. Yeah, no, so. they sat on it forever. Well, it started as a mod. Team Fortress yeah, was a yeah. mod for was it Quake. Week? Quake. Yeah, yeah, it was old school. Yeah. And uh, yeah, now it's it's this. This is this is pretty cool. Yeah, there was a different, decent, decent, decent uh, Half Life uh, rendition of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh, neat. Remember Jailbreak? Did you ever play Jailbreak on Quake? I did. That yeah. was a lot of fun. I can't believe no one's ever done anything with that. Like you know, what Jailbreak didn't have though. What's that? Hats. <laughs> That's true. All right. Fact number two. One of the original ideas for Team Fortress Two was to have it have it be heavily militaristic in terms of visual style and gameplay. After the mid two thousand delay caused by switching to the Source engine, the game began to stray further and further away from that initial idea. They even did demos, cartoon. I think, of that original military sim. Yeah, uh, I think I've seen some stills of like that really kind of like gritty looking shooter. Yeah. Well, that was I how mean, the original well, was. Gritty, not not you know not gritty, but like dirty, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> not as cartoony. So that's cool. I think that I think the the cartoon aspect of it makes it a lot more fun, a lot more kind of bouncy, I guess you could say. So I like it a lot more. Fact number three: According to an official Valve publication, artists like J. C. Leyendecker, the Dean, <laughs> Dean Cornwell, and Norman Rockwell heavily influenced the art style of Team Fortress Two. I mm. just discovered uh, a fact that I apparently don't know people that I should know in the art world. Oh, other yeah? than I, I, I recognize Rockwell. Yeah, Rockwell, he's famous. Uh, yeah, Dean I don't know. Cornwell, I don't know what was it. I don't. J. C. Leyendecker, Leyendecker. Yeah, no, huh. it's probably a pronunciation issue. That's probably why. There I don't you understand go. That's it. probably yeah. what it is. All right. Fact number four: uh, The he voices for the of mourning. Right? <laughs> the voices for the playable characters were based on, quote, what Americans in the 60s would have imagined these people had sounded like, according to <laughs> writer Chet Falizak. Why would they have to imagine? Couldn't they just go ask someone that was old? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, 60 years old, you could, you could find someone in their 80s, right? Hey, buddy, like, what do you think this guy sounds like? <laughs> ah, yeah, see? Ah, uh, dirigibles. Ah, yeah, okay. All right, fact number five. According to Valve's Robin Walker, Team Fortress 2 went free to play on June 23rd, 2011, because Valve had learned over time that the more players Team Fortress 2 had, the more value it had for each player. So there you go. So throw in more people, and it becomes more valuable for Let each individual player. Let play it for no charge, and lots of people will play it. And then buy a shit ton of hats. Microtransactions. So, there you go. That's how you do it. It's where the money right, is. So Team Fortress 2 is uh, classic, and also, like, just go watch some of the movies made in the Team Fortress 2. The, uh, what's it called? The Valve Movie Studio? Valve Movie, Ma movie Maker or something? There, there is, I yeah. What, whatever that tool movie is. Movie Maker like, or something. They, yeah, they that, released it. That was a thing. Incredible. So there's some really, really cool films made in the Team Fortress 2 universe. Also, just always the Meet the Whatever yeah, yeah, series meet, like, was amazing. Yeah, I think Meet the Doctor is my favorite. Or meet the Medic is my favorite. So. Source, Source filmmaker. filmmaker. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. So that's it. That's Team Fortress 2 Five Facts. We'll see you next time for a little bit more. We're going to go study art. <laughs>